This video is about the War of the Second Coalition. This war lasted from 1798 to 1802. On one side we have France, allied with Spain, Denmark and the French Daughter Republics. On the other side the rest of Europe, more or less, and especially to mention Russia, Austria and Great Britain. To the background, France could win the War of the First Coalition, which ended with the Peace of Campo Formio. In this peace, it was stated that France will win territories, the Austrian Netherlands, territories left of the Rhine, Savoy, Nice and the Union Islands. But the French sphere of influence could be expanded and extended even further through daughter republics, the Netherlands, Italy and Switzerland. Temporarily, France had the naval supremacy in the Mediterranean and Spain was an ally. But Great Britain was still in a state of war with France. Anyway, Austria was not happy with this, to lose the Netherlands and so on, so they wanted to restore their influence in the southern Netherlands and Italy. Russia felt threatened because France was moving further and further east in the Mediterranean towards the Russian sphere of influence. And France, of course, wanted to secure her gains and, if possible, expand her sphere of influence. Prehistory. Napoleon Bonaparte left Toulon for his Egyptian expedition. He arrived at Malta and took possession of the island. That was an affront of the Tsar, because the Tsar was the Grand Master of the Order of Malta. But for now, Napoleon continued to Egypt and could take control of Egypt. Egypt was part of the Ottoman Empire, and the Ottoman Empire declared war on France. Now a coalition against Bonaparte formed, especially to mention Great Britain, Russia and Austria. Russia and the, the Russians and the Ottomans, they were not too long ago, ago at war, and now they fought together against the French, and they could win, they successfully attacked the Union Islands. In the north it was also not too bad, the Austrians won two battles, and it looked not too good for the French, especially when General Suvorov, a Russian general, a very brilliant military commander, moved a Russian and Austrian force army to his northern Italy. And there he could win a few battles. It did, not look, it did not look too good for the French. Furthermore, the Austrians won the first Battle of Zurich and the French were forced back to the west. Nearly all of Italy was, was under Allied control mid of 1799. The Russian troops are now ordered to Switzerland and this is, as so often, politicians intervene with military leaders and decisions and that was a mistake that should be very very costly because now the French could win the second battle of Zurich and the Russian, Russian troops had to withdraw from Switzerland back to Italy. The Royal Navy landed an Anglo-Russian invasion force in Northern Holland and they were quite successful at the start or looked good but they could then re be repelled by French and revolutionary Dutch forces took not too long and the last British and Russian troops had to leave Holland, but it was a very honorable capitulation. Russia ended then her engagement in the war. So here the tides of war have changed. Now Napoleon Bonaparte was elected first consul, it was in fact a coup d'etat and he took control. He, this is a legendary, his legendary crossing of the Alps. Out of nothing, he was in the Po Bassin and took charge. He was the Battle of Marengo and pressured the Austrians very much. The Austrians leave northern Italy and the French retook control. Furthermore, the French advanced in southern Germany, won the Battle of Hohenlinden and that cleared the path to Vienna. The war was now more or less over. The Austrians sued for peace and the war ended then definitely on the continent. However, so, first of all, the war ended, the Treaty of Lunéville confirmed the uh, peace of Campo Formio. However, the, uh, Britain was still at war and the Royal Navy was still in action. But then there was the Treaty of Amiens and the war between Britain and France ended. That means that the sphere of influence and the territory France won the war of the First Coalition was secured um, and France had now the territories, or securely had the territories left of the Rhine, the Daughter Republics of the Netherlands, Northern Italy and Switzerland. 
The Holy Roman Empire should compensate the German princes for the lost territories left of the Rhine. And then there was the Reich's deputations. Hauptschluss means the secularization of the ecclesi ecclesiastical states. Napoleon Bonaparte's position in France was very much strengthened, so not too long later he could become, crown himself, Emperor of the French. And what should follow is the War of the Third Coalition in 1805. But that was the War of the Second Coalition in five.